full of writer. You're the writer? Yeah, I'm it. That's it? <laughs> yeah. You're writing the whole thing? Well, somebody's got to do it, and it's one of those things where we're still a very small company. You know? Yeah. So, we, writer. Well, artists, you got time smaller, while they're doing the yeah. engine. That could take a while, right? Well, sort of. We're, we're licensing part of it, and we're writing well, the back fun. end. And... Well, you know, we have some high school teachers, some writing uh, really? teachers uh, here. And, and for the Mac World uh, Conference? From the Mac World yeah. Conference. So they're from Lakewood High School. And, uh, is Lakewood High School in Long Beach, Long Beach School District? Yes. There they are. Yeah, the attractive ones on the right. There you go. I, I don't see them. No. no. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that, so, yeah, if you want any instructions on the use of the semicolon, I think they could help you. You know, my, my bane is the apostrophe. Like apostrophe. so many other it's programmers. It's. Yes. It's, 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 it's your, your. Yours. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, that's, I'm a real stickler on that. So don't send me an leaves. email with the yeah. wrong apostrophe. Let's, uh, let's move on to Linux. <laughs> now, the kernel uh, got upgraded to 2.6. That's right. Uh, and... Many people who installed Linux in the last year or so are still working with 2.4. Exactly. And, and that's totally okay. That's normal. Yeah. 2.6 is still fairly cutting edge. I wouldn't so recommend you, you wouldn't recommend switch. everybody go upgrade right away? Right. I mean, if you really want to sort of like be new early adopter guy and want to try that out, go for it. Oh, okay. You know. So. But at some point, you may want to upgrade. Yeah, at some point, you will upgrade. And one way to do it would be to go out and buy a new distro and install on top of it. Right. But the real, real manly way to do it would be to sure. recompile your, the geekly <laughs> way to do it would be to recompile your kernel. Where do we get the kernel sources to begin Well, with? you know, uh, for, I have an article up so people can just follow the links yes, there. Yes, we're going to move uh, fast. But they're going to be going to kernel.org, right. um, which the is kernel the archives. central repository for all things kerneling. Now, you want to use an even-numbered kernel, not an odd-numbered kernel. 2.6, not 2.5. Because exactly. those are the stable ones. Right. right, so the evens are the stable, the odds are the unstable right. development. Don't touch them if you're, unless you're insane. So, so. Are you just, can you just download it? Well, I just clicked on it, but I, I've already downloaded it for the second. So what do you get when you download it? Well, you, well when you download it, you get a program. And, uh, a big, large tar file. It's going to be 40 megabytes. Okay. And when you're done it's source code? decompressing it, it's going to be much, much larger. So right. you'll probably need 400 megs to work with to 400, do 400, okay. You know. So you decompress it. Right. And then you, so you decompress it using the tar command, which is, again, RX all in the, uh, yeah, yeah. In the uh, article I wrote for you guys. Okay. And then it goes blah, 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 blah. So these are, these are all this, and you look, a lot of them are C and H files, which means they're source code files. Yeah. Not a lot of C++, actually. It's almost all C. Uh, actually, there is no C++ in the car. It's all C. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, you also, well, you get, uh, it looks like I'm getting drivers, so I'll get some modules, I'll get some other yeah, stuff as well. Yeah, there's a lot more devices supported. There's a better Let's scheduler see. in 2.6. It's, right. it's, it's pretty superior. But I've so actually already decoded. We got all the source code. I know, we're just showing yeah, it. So. so now what's the next step? Once so once you're the there, code. what you're going to do is you're going to type in make menu config right here. So and This is the one I use. There are different ways to run the config, but this is the easiest Yeah, by far. well, you can go line by line no, if you're insane. No, no, no. Uh, you can do it in X. You can do it right. all kinds of different this ways. This is an NCURSI's way to do it in a, on a command line. Yeah, I think this is actually probably the best way for yeah. anyone new to the kernel process. Well, another thing is if you're looking at what's new in, in 2.6, this is a good way to find out because you'll go through all these settings and you can see what, what's different. What it does, what's yeah, what, what it can it do. You know, and you can say, oh, let me try ACPI. So and, this is where you, you know. would turn that on. In exactly. And you can choose how you turn it on, whether it's going to be a module that's loaded at runtime, right. or if it's loaded as part of the kernel, just period, right. and it, it, it's, it's extremely flexible. So. And Linux is in the, 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 a traditional, um, it's, it's, not, it's not a microkernel, it's right. more of a modular, well, monolithic it, it, It's kernel. a monolithic kernel with, with some, aspects of microkernel. With what's the, the difference? Explain that. <sighs> we don't have enough time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let me see if I can do it in a, in a okay. kind of right. layman's term. Uh, you, a, a kernel like Windows has everything built into it. They call it a monolithic kernel because basically support for everything is kind of built into the kernel files, yeah. some drivers, but it's a, it's, it's a highly monolithic kernel. And then there's something like Mach, which is a microkernel, which really knows nothing. It's a very right. small kernel and is taught everything with modules and device drivers. Right. This is a little bit between both. It's neither a, it's a, a microkernel nor or monolithic. A monolithic. So that's, but that's the choice, right? You well, could have it. Windows either. It's, 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 well, it's an extremely complex issue. It cannot be. It cannot be. You know, be well, I just did that yeah, uh, yeah. just to make it easy. Right. So in this case, you could build stuff into the kernel, which would be more monolithic right. style, or you can make it add on as a module. Is there an advantage to doing one way or the other? Well, sometimes you, you can't really use modules. Like if you want uh, native support in the kernel from the very first moment you boot. So like for right. USB devices, you have a USB keyboard, you got to put it in the kernel. You got to put it in the kernel. Right. And uh, yes and no. But, uh, it's, it, but more like if you have like a special kind of hard drive or you're trying to run off a special yeah, kind of solid state disk, right. you got to, you know. You gotta so we've configured it. it all. We go through the menu. Right, we right, look so at all the options. So we have all kinds of cool things. Are there things. any things they should really avoid? In the options, can you really screw yourself up? You yes. can. Yes. You can. You you want to go through Code maturity them. is a big issue. I know. Actually, actually, it's not as big as you think. What's what's a bigger problem is if you go to like the uh, uh, the bus options and add something stupid to it. <laughs> yeah. You know, or don't or, turn or, or on don't put on PCI. Visa local bus priming kids. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and be sure to turn on PCI support right. because if you don't turn that on, you won't see. So okay, after you've done all that, so you'll you'll exit from it. You'll save your new configuration, and that's it. 
Well, now we can make it and build yeah, it. Yeah, you can make it and build it now. So okay. we'll do things like make dep, we'll make install. Um, make dep means make dependencies, which yeah. means make all the files that it needs. All right. And, and put them into place. Put them in place. Right. And then you'll do a make install, which will then chug, 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 chug. The whole process will take some time. Yeah. So in fact, they often use this to benchmark uh, uh, processes. CPU architecture. Yeah. yeah, to see how long it's going to take to, uh, to yeah, build the kernel. Yeah, I got it done in four kernel. minutes. Yeah. You know, but I told people in the article to expect at least a half hour, sometimes yeah. more. And the then you'll make your modules. So. so that you can add those in. Those are exactly. basically drivers. Right. The truth is it's not that hard to do, especially if you follow the Linux kernel how-to. No. It's very specific, your article as well. And you learn a lot about how the kernel works and how Linux works. This exactly. is really Linux is what yep. you're building, the, the actual Linux. So yep. uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, and I think, okay, so you say not yet. Wait a little while till 2.6 Unless you out. want to play and have a good time. Right. There you go. Well, I think a lot of people who use Linux, that's a lot of what they're doing. Exactly. I mean, we are. It's a, learning. It's a yeah. learning process. And it's cheaper than buying Panther. You've got a very so, hostile oh, I'm sorry, audience. Are there a lot of people here. from Macworld here? You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I bet there's half the people in the audience could tell you exactly what make and model of Mac that beep was from. Yeah. All right, so uh, reconstruction.com with a K is your website. Yeah, R -E -K, K makes it cooler. Reconstruction.com. <laughs> Damage Studios. Yes. Not Danger. That's somebody else. That's somebody. Well, I don't even know if it is. Or somebody. maybe not. And, uh, and your article is on the screensavers.com. That's right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yet I'm going to run home and, and rebuild. The Linux kernel. You go home as we speak. Stay where I'm. Well, I'm using SUSE 9, and most of, decent, which is yeah. wonderful. It's really, but it's 2.4. Ah. Well, upgrade. Yeah. Stay where you are, folks. We're going to help Joe be tricky with his iTunes authorization issues. But up next, what happens when you break your mouse? We're going to fix it. That. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Pat will show you how using expensive.